Today, here in Blacktown, we celebrate the past and look to the future. For true believers raised in the Labor faith, Galt Whitlam's policy speech is a sacred text. Even from the distance of half a century, it stands as a monument to the grand sweep of Whitlam's vision for Australia and the commanding heights of his ambition for our nation. Men and women of Australia, the decision we will make for our country on the 2nd of December is a choice between the past and the future, between the habits and fears of the past and the demands and opportunities of the future. It was Gough's moment. He presented his vision for the nation, a more equal, open, tolerant and independent Australia. Those are the values at the heart of the Whitlam legacy. And I hope many Australians will be reminded of that legacy when, in 19 days, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the election of the Whitlam government on the 2nd of December 1972. Penny is the first and only woman to have served as both leader of the opposition in the Senate and leader of the government in the Senate. She is Australia's Minister for Foreign Affairs. She is an extraordinary Australian. And I'm delighted on this very special occasion, she will deliver the 2022 Whitlam oration. Please welcome Senator Penny Wong. 50 years ago, Gough Whitlam stood here and said these words, more than any foreign aid program, more than any international obligation, which we meet or forfeit, more than any part we play in any treaty or agreement or alliance, Australia's treatment of First Nations people will be the thing upon which the rest of the world will judge Australia and Australians, not just now, but in the greater perspective of history. In short order, he withdrew our troops from Vietnam, ended national service and released draft resistors from jail. He banned visits to Australia by sporting teams selected by race and initiated measures to downgrade relations with a racist regime in what was then named Rhodesia. It has been a great honour to speak to you today in this storied hall about what Gough's legacy means to Australian foreign policy and to me as a Labor foreign minister inheriting his legacy. So I thank you, men and women of Australia, my fellow citizens, for being here and for each of your contributions to our project of justice and progress for all people. Thank you very much. <laughs>